Year 5, here's a quick video on how to use relative clauses in your writing, which is the focus of this week's bag work. So, first of all, what are relative clauses? And relative clauses um, adds information to sentences by giving extra information about a particular object, place or person. So This is where the relative clause bit comes in. So, for example, the child who smells of slime had a baking accident in the kitchen. Now the relative clause is who smells of slime because it's giving information that is relative to the main part of the sentence, which is the noun, in this case is the child. Now to be able to write a relative clause, you need to make sure you've included a relative pronoun. Now examples of these include that, which, who, whose, where, and when. It kind of gives you a clue about where the relative clause starts um, because you can see when you see relative pronoun you can see that that must be where the relative clause starts. So let's have a look at these together. This gives you an example of what work you'll be doing on Monday. So in these sentences you need to identify the relative clauses. Remember the clue is that relative pronoun that we talked about. So the first sentence is the dog that's had long fluffy ears, jumped to get the ball. So have a think, which of those words is the relative pronoun that we talked about earlier? So in the sentence, the dog that had long fluffy ears jumped up to get the ball, the relative pronoun is that, which gives you the clue that it is. The relative clause is that had long fluffy ears. With the next sentence, the forest, which has the largest tree in the world, also contains a lake with swans. Have a think, which is the relative clause in that sentence? Okay, the relative pronoun in the forest, which has the largest tree in the world, also contains a lake with swans, is which, which gives you the clue that the relative clause is which has the largest tree in the world. Moving on to the house where the Jones family lives, with across the river. I think, what is the relative pronoun which will give you the clue about where is the relative clause? Okay, the relative pronoun in this sentence is where, which gives you the clue that the relative clause is where the Jones family lives. And finally, when the school reopened, all the teachers were extremely happy. Have a think, what is the relative pronoun in that sentence? The relative pronoun is when, which gives you the clue that when the school reopened is the relative clause. The punctuation also gives a clue around it. It has commas or dashes or brackets. Okay, so for Tuesday's work, you'll be adding a relative clause to a sentence that's already been written. So, for example, the basic sentence is, my teacher told me to try my best. You need to have a think, first of all, which relative pronoun would go best if you're talking about the teacher? So, you're going to be using the relative pronoun who, because you're talking about a person. So, my teacher, who, and then give some extra information about your teacher. Moving on. I saw the dog jumping for the ball. This relative clause is going to be about the dog, so you need to be using the relative pronoun that, because it's not a person, so you can't use who. And finally, in the house, there was a hot tub. The relative pronoun that you would use in this situation would be where or which, as you're talking about a place. So some examples that you could add in include my teacher who had glasses told me to try my best. I saw the dog which had black and white spots jumping for the ball. Or in the house where family of four lived there was a hot tub. So hopefully this video has helped you to identify relative clauses and given you the clues about the relative pronouns to help you identify them and use them. Uh, which hopefully will give you confidence when you're working through the rest of the activities this week. Stay safe and we'll hopefully see you soon.